You're on here. How may I help you? Hi, Dave. Hi. How you doing today? Okay. Um, I called you about four weeks ago, mm -hmm. and uh, I was Ranger Flow, and I went to the studio with my album, mm -hmm. and I actually just got back from New York from uh, with MGM Records, and uh, it worked out pretty well, actually. I signed a short-term contract for uh, two albums with him, and you were right on target with that. Cool. How do you see that coming in the future, though? It's going to be excellent for you. I'm not seeing any problems musically for you at all. Wow. All at right. All. And um, one more question. Sure. This is a West Michigan local one. Um, I'm actually having a tough time. I uh, am a member of a Catholic church. Mm-hmm. And uh, I just invited about 100 Asian Buddhists to a holy conference yeah. at my church. Yeah. And the general uproar from my church, which I can't tell you its name right now, is I don't not positive. Enough. It's not positive at all. I think they feel a lot of, uh, uh, I think they feel a lot of, like, hurt that I'd bring in another religion yeah. and introduce well, it to our church. Well, I hate to say this, but I will. Catholicism is, is one of the most um, prejudiced religions out there. Yeah. Okay? And I hate to say that, but it's, it is... I, it is true. Um, this is something that they're not going to accept at all, okay? Um, if I were you, if you're going to have this conference... It's in two weeks. And yeah. Dave, you know, actually, I was thinking, they, it is. It is so prejudiced. And that's why I want to diversify and expand the religion. Yeah, but... It, you know what I'm saying? It's not, gonna, it's not really going to happen. Um, your best bet is to find a different place to have the conference. Okay? All right. And congratulations on signing the short-term contract. Uh, all right. Thanks a lot, Dave. Have a good night. I'm here. How may I help you? Hi, Dave. Hi. Hey. Um, I'd just like to start with, um, I was wondering if you have ever sang karaoke at Old Boys. Yes. Ah, uh, I knew I'd seen you there before. <laughs> in fact, I'm going to be in, at that talent search in, um, at the Little Brown Jug. Great, you have a wonderful voice. I think I sound like Kermit the Frog, but yeah, thank you. <laughs> Heard that before. Yeah. Um, You're on the air. How may I help you? Hey, Dave. Hi. Um, uh, I had a little trouble today. Mm-hmm. Um, I fell off my bike, and um, I got bit by a dog, and I was just wondering if you foresee any more uh, bad luck. Uh, you've been accident-prone for a long time, actually. Yes, I have. Yeah. Uh, just keep your eye out for everything around you, and I don't see anything bad happening anymore. And, Dave? Yeah. Um, I was on your website today, and um, I just wanted to see if you could tell me any more detail on that um, article you had about the coffee and the cream, because I thought that that was great. Okay. Um, well, can you repeat that? You know, um, the... Um, the article about the coffee and the cream on, on your website, how you said it was like a vortex? Oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah, um, do you have any more insight on that, or is uh, that just about it? Actually, I'm going to be adding to that in the next couple of days if you want to go back and look at it. Oh, I definitely will. Okay. Okay. Did, did you like that? Yeah, it was great. Thanks. Okay. Yep, have a good evening. Huh? Hey, this is Mike. Yep. Okay, I have um, kind of a dilemma here. Uh-huh. Okay, first off, um, I'm kind of in the closet at the moment, but I kind of want to come out, and I don't know how to express my feelings to the person that I want to come out with. Just come right out and say. Just tell them that I'm gay and that I have these deep mutual feelings for him? Yep. Um, I, I don't see him retaliating at all. Well, because, well, like, kind of in class, I'll stare at him and, you know, give him a wink and massage his shoulders, you know, and I'm, he thinks I'm just messing around, but I'm really scared and that he's going to reject me and be like, you fag, I don't want to talk to you. Um, just like I said, go and talk to him, um, but do it in a personal setting. Don't do it right in front of other people and you can, you'll be fine, okay? Okay, because I have a big black man named Mike. Okay. You have a good evening. Hey, too. Yeah, hi, Dave. Hi. Hi, how's it going? Excellent. And you? Um, I'm just fine. I'd like to um, give a couple of shout-outs. Go ahead. Um, I'd like to give a shout out to um, Jermaine and Jamar and Jermaine, not Jermaine, but Jermaine. Okay. And Maurice. Okay. And Larry and uh, Doyle. Mm hmm. Tyree and Tony. Okay. And Cece and um, Amanda. Okay. Um,
Um, I was just wondering, I have a friend that has been in prison for quite some time now. I was just wondering if he knew when maybe he was going to get out. He's going to be in there for a lot longer. Oh, you think so? Yeah. Um, in fact, he has a probation, uh, a parole hearing coming up, and then they're going to deny his parole. You think so? Yeah. Why would they deny his parole? Um, because he has not been the um, satisfactory prisoner. Think so? Yeah. Wow, that's strange. Okay. All right. Um, I have, well, never mind. I'll, I'll just call back next week. Okay. Yeah. Ah. Have a good evening. Ha, 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 ha.